Hey, Steve here with Cardiac Cycling. Today we're going to show you what you have to do on the Travato roof rack if you want to add something to it. I'm adding a mobile mark antenna so that we can get better wireless reception while we're on the road. Wireless Wi-Fi, wireless as in cellular, wireless as in any kind of communication that doesn't require wire. So come on along, I'll show you what we're going to do. First we're going to loosen this bolt. Then we have two more down here that we're going to loosen. We'll loosen those and then show you the next steps. We're going to loosen this first bolt. These are half inch and they are on here tight. loosened up and these guys down here very tight all right so once you have these two loose then we're gonna go ahead and take this one completely out like so pretty short. Make sure you hold on to the washer. Set it to the side. Once you've done that, then you can slide, slide the bracket out of the way. And then I take this bolt, put it right back in here, just screw it in a couple of turns. You pull out the entire thing. So once that's done, this is a carriage bolt. And the thing about a carriage bolt, you can see that it has a square piece on it right here at the end. And that fits in there. Can you see that? So that as we put the nut on, it pulls this square piece up here and holds it so you don't have to worry about having a backup on it. So once we have this in here, we're ready to reassemble. So slide this guy back in. Let's go ahead and take it apart just so you can better see. So <clears throat> you can see it has a little upset piece here. Upset meaning it protrudes out. That's what goes downward. You're going to want to slide it a little bit back so you can better position it once you slide. And then as we look down, make sure we get this fella re-engaged again. And you'll know if you're cross-threading it. You can see took me a couple tries to get it in there properly and it's in there now I like to leave it a little bit loose here because I want to get this guy properly positioned again and you can make marks on the, either side of this bracket to get it just right but I have a guide with the air conditioner shroud I know exactly where to position it because there is about a sixteenth of an inch between this rail and the air conditioner shroud and I want to make sure that I maintain a distance between the two or maintain a gap between the two because otherwise every time the air conditioner comes on it will be just that much louder due to vibration through the shroud onto the roof rack and we don't want that you can see i'm getting this thing's pretty tight that's the way it's supposed to be and and there we go and fish it through the hole 
just like that. Put on the washer and a light nut. There we go. and a lock nut. Get it aligned a little bit better. I'm just kind of doing this by sight right now because tomorrow I'm going to finish it up. And that's it. Well, that's it for today. Got the ladder put up, got all the tools put up. Hope you got something out of this video. At least uh, found it entertaining if you didn't get any value out of it otherwise. Hey, if you found something of value though, please do give us a thumbs up. It makes it easier for other people to find it because the more likes a video gets, the higher it goes in the search engine, the easier it is for others to find it. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Oh yeah, one other thing before I call it a day. I ought to let you know, we're gonna be changing the name of the channel. I want something that better fits what we do, RV and cycle. Kelly says, cardiac cycling doesn't really tell the whole story. So keep watching, see what we can come up with. Again, thanks for watching. Take care, see you next week.